WFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 183. NASDAQ is down 170. S&P is off 9. Gold. Gold contract down $5.30, trading at 1953 an ounce. We have silver down 19 cents, $25.20 20 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude flat, $102.75 a barrel. Notes and bonds. The 10-year note up 12 ticks, trading 119.15. The 30-year up a full point, plus a half a, a point, point and a half. At 141 and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 574 ticks, trading 100.388. Euro out here at 108, yen at 127.80, and the British pound 130 to 1 US dollar. We get over and we take a look at the SP. What you have out here, folks, is that bottom line you got the SP, you got to a higher price, you have a contraction of volume, you're going against volume. Uh, bottom line is that we'll see where this uh, shake uh, closes out, but anything under 445.75, and guess what? You're gonna go right back downtown. And right now, we're about a point and a half underneath that. We go look at the NDX 100, which is weaker than the, the SPY in a, in a large way, too, not in a small way. And you can see that that just doesn't have anything on it, period. Bottom line, got top of the, actually, get into the gap, I believe. Three, so the high was three. No, it couldn't make the gap. That's how weak it is, okay? The gap, folks, was 348.50. We made it to 347.56. Now, I had talked about this before. I was talking with Tommy about this prior to the open this morning. If you were in the Tiger's Den, well, you basically was up early looking at this market, okay? One of the cool things, and this happens every once in a while, is that you had Netflix that was already down $85 pre-market, but yet the NDX folks was up 64 points. Well, guess what? If you don't trade the futures, that's cool, okay? But the bottom line, you could have shot the Qs. OK, because the correlation just wasn't there. And bottom line, as soon as it opened, you could see they ate the 62 plus they ate another 100 in about two seconds flat. So bottom line, keep an eye on that in the future. I mean, last time that happened was probably about four months ago. You, you see it happen a few times a year, but uh, risk versus reward. It's a beauty, man. Gold, gold contract looks like it's rejecting lower price. What we had, had yesterday is this. We came down hard yesterday. You didn't have the volume on the move, and today we get light volume, and it's rejecting lower price. Set up for higher price. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about the dollar, and the yen gave it up, too. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.